Heya! If you're familiar with my channel, you are most likely aware that I've mainly posted slowed and reverb music content. While I will still continue to do this, I do want to expand my channel and what I do in terms of my content. Judging by the title, you would know what this video is about. Now let me just say, I am a huge Sonic fan. I grew up with the old 90s cartoons, from the freaking Saturn cartoon to Sonic Underground. I read the Archie comics, pretty much all of them. I played all of the games, basically. I, I, I fucking love that blue dude. <laughs> Shadow's the best. <coughs> I mean, what? But there's also a character who I personally adore that the fandom doesn't. And that, my children, is the one and only Princess Sally Alicia Acorn. I never realized how bad the hate for Sally was as I didn't have access to the internet alone when I was young, so getting DeviantArt as a Sonic teen fan was probably the worst decision I had ever made because I swear to god this shit I found there was traumatic. I am gonna delve into that later into this video so we're just gonna start from the beginning. So I'm not here to really analyze or explain the creation of Sally herself. You can definitely find that on the internet, search it up on YouTube, on Google, maybe you can find an article, it's all there. I'm just gonna kind of explain why she's hated and bring up some very infamous, notorious examples. So due to Sally being Sonic's love interest in the early 90s cartoons as well as the Archie comics, yeah. Son Amy fans act as if it was the time period of the Holocaust, and I'm not even joking. I mean, look what I found here. Yeah, pretty bad. Like that right there, I mean, Son Amy fans are the reason why I don't leave my house. I'm, jo I'm joking on that, by the way. <laughs> I do like Son Amy, don't get me wrong. I think Sonic X Amy is very cute, especially in Sonic X. I just think the issue are the fans, because if you ever interact with a Son Amy fan, chances are they are an extreme Son Amy fan. And when I say extreme, I'm saying like you can't even state an opinion without them threatening you, threatening your mom, threatening your pet dog named Sniffles. And I should say, these fans most likely grew up with Sonic when Amy was introduced and gained more popularity in the USA. The history of Amy is a bit complicated to explain, you know, again, you can search that up if you are interested in that. Just best keep in mind she was basically considered to be Sonic's love's interest and still is to this day, I think it's obvious. <laughs> Even though the fucking creator himself said that they're most likely never gonna get married, so, uh, yeah. I did do some deep web searching to trying to find the origin or reasons as to why she was hated trying to find people's perspectives, theories, and overall opinions on why she gets so much backlash in the community. And based off what I found, I believe it's pretty accurate as to what I've seen. So I'm just gonna list the main reasons. Now obviously there may be more reasons that I haven't listed here, but I would just be talking about the overall fandom's reasons as to why they hate her so much. And I can't believe I'm starting this off as a reason, but a small and dumb reason as to why she is hated is because of her design. And I'm not talking about her new design in the Archie issue after she was repoticized, but her original design with just her vest and boots. I don't really understand this. I mean, I can see why it's weird as all the females have some clothing on. But she was literally the first, if not one of the first female characters in the Sonic franchise. So I'm pretty sure you know the creators were new to this, they didn't know how to approach her design. And you don't see like anything explicit, you don't see genitalia and everything, because she's a fucking animal. She's covered in fur. So this is just so petty to me. If you ask me personally, I really love Sally's design. I personally like her new one the most, but her old one is simple yet cute, and it shows that she doesn't rely on design for her character. Another notorious and yet very invalid reason as to why she gets hate is because she is considered to be a Mary Sue. You know, I get real sick and tired of people using this tired excuse to hate on a character, especially if they don't deserve it. You guys know what a Mary Sue is. A Mary Sue is a character that is absolutely perfect. No flaws whatsoever. They can do no wrong in the eyes of other characters. Everyone loves them and everyone wants to be them. This is definitely not Sally, and you would know that if you had read the original comics. You would know that if you'd read the earlier issues, if you've watched the show. She is a very flawed character. And when I say that a character is flawed, that is no way a bad thing. If anything, that makes the character more realistic. Calling Sally a Mary Sue to me is so dumb. She has been through so much and she has so much development. 
I'm positive had you had grown up with her and read the comics with her, you would see that. I would give examples as to why she's not a Mary Sue and her flaws, but I will bring a very infamous chapter later on that kind of proves it but i don't want to spoil anything if you guys have not read the archie comics and would rather want to get to know sally so that's up to y'all to find out so yeah and of course people tend to hate on her because they believe she is bossy which to me is just like eh, i mean i understand that but at the same time what the fuck do you expect from a princess who's next here to her throne and has to lead this whole group of fighters against this fat psychotic man trying to turn innocent animals into robots like what the fuck do you expect and having to deal with like a group of teens but then having to lead a whole kingdom like that is stressful but i mean hey these are the same people that are just gonna respond with like yeah but like she's still really bossy and i don't like her so yeah but the number one reason that I've come to agree on why she's hated and multiple people have is the shipping. When it comes to shipping in the Sonic fandom, you will find basically every ship. Like literally, you will find like from Sonic X Amy to Tails X Cream to Shadow X Rouge to Silver X Blade to freaking Shadow X Sonic to freaking Vector X Big the Cat, which yes, I have found fan art for that. Don't ask how, but I have. So, I mean, it's no surprise that Sonic and Sally are considered a ship because Sally is considered to be Sonic's love interest in the Archie comics. But unfortunately, to the Son Amy fans, this is seen as a threat to their precious little blue pink hedgehog ship. Even though Sally has made no new appearances whatsoever in the Sonic media since 2017 or so. And to be honest, it's crazy because, you know, as I grew up, I just kind of learned and realized how manipulative and violent Amy is towards Sonic. There is actually a Tumblr blog called Son Amy Misdeeds, which basically kind of uh, journals over the many of the issues with the Son Amy fans, but obviously expands more than just Son Amy. It's just around the shipping and the Sonic fandom in general. But the blogger made a very good and interesting explanation as to why Amy's character is so toxic and manipulative. I'll leave a link in the comments down below to this blog if you do want to check it out. But they basically just kind of summarized how the old Amy was just very manipulative and violent towards Sonic. Hitting him with like her hammer and such. Making these very unnecessary and rude comments. And again, I know she's 12, don't get me wrong. And she's gotten better, but eh, you know, definitely shows the flaws in her characters. And it's just funny how... Sally's getting all this hate when Amy's literally doing all this shit and no one says anything. Most of the Sally hate actually does come from DeviantArt, which correlates with my comment earlier saying how getting DeviantArt as a Sonic Teen fan was the worst decision made. Going there, you will find a ton of clubs that just, you know, supports the Sally hate, like Sonic X Sally haters or the anti-Sally club with, you know, just are degrading Sally and all that, and I found a lot of it, which you will see in these video clips right now. So if you go here, you know, you just search up anti-Sally club, you will find a lot of them here. Yeah, there is a lot of them, holy shit. Oh, in <laughs> anti-Amy, okay. So I clicked this one, this is a anti-Sally Sue club, even though I said she's not a Mary Sue, and of course they're using the infamous panel in which she slaps him. Also, this is giving rules on how you should depict on how Sally is a Sue. What, what's funny is that I noticed here that they compared Sally to Chi Chi from Dragon Ball, which, by the way, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, and Chi Chi is one of my favorites. He's just so dumb. It's just, she is Chi Chi, ugly inside out. Really disposable state and all existing to torture her lives. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo! She also gets away with slapping Sonic and ruining lives. We didn't ask. Let's see what else. Because bitches like me so <laughs> I mean, who in their right mind decided to draw this and just thought it was perfectly normal? Like, these drawings were made like 10 years ago or so. Like, I wonder if these people ever think back to these drawings and think like, oh yeah, 
Yeah, I drew a chipmunk getting killed by my OC. So quirky. There was a 2005 DeviantArt group that was created in April 2005 as a singular account since the actual DeviantArt groups haven't been implanted at the time, and it was called the Kill Sally Club, so that name should give you a good estimate on what it was. But the club was basically just dedicated to people who had a very concerning and strong hatred towards Sally. And it wasn't just making fun of her or just talking about her flaws or going like, ew, I don't like Sally. It was literally members harassing fans of Sally Acorn, including like a bunch of miners and those who enjoyed the Son Alley ship. And they drew really gory artwork, which I'm going to censor because I don't want to traumatize you like I'm traumatized. And usually it featured like Amy or Sonic or the artist's shitty Mary Sue fan character. The group only lasted for three years, but it left a super strong impact on the fans of both Amy Rose, Sally, and the relationships involving both characters, and it was one of the highest points of the ship war. And it, you know, it makes me wonder if members there genuinely had problems because one user stated once, This club is for us who hate Sally Acorn, but also it is a method for us to vent. If one cannot vent, then that person may snap at any moment. Some may say we're unstable, but I say we maintain stability through insane kill art. I like to hope and imagine this was just some edgy nine-year-old kid who thought he was Shadow the Hedgehog at night, but you know, we don't know. There were several famous users who were a part of the club and would harass and bully Sally and Sonic X Sally fans. Most of them were minors and they would tell them to kill themselves and just all this horrible cyberbullying shit. And even then, they went as far as to harass the Sonic, Saturn, Archie comic fans, which to me is just very wrong and unnecessary and just stupid in general. There was one infamous user named Wendy Atikas. You can search her up actually. You'll find her Sonic OC still on the web. She's been AFK from the internet for a while. I found here that she deactivated her DeviantArt account. Now apparently years later she befriended Sally fans but she never apologized on what she did to the internet. I get you know in the end it was just a fictional character, but when you involve in real life people and start attacking them and voluntarily harassing them and knowing that they're minors too, that's just all levels of wrong and I just find that to be very unforgivable. Not to mention how fucking horrendous the art is here, like look at this comic I found where, again I don't know what the obsession is having freaking Mina in all these freaking Sally bashing things, but it's basically showing like Sally's talking and she's just you know, it, she's just acting so out of character and then Amy and Mina proceed to just mutilate her in this next panel which obviously I'm gonna blur and pixelate and censor. If you want to see this all uncensored, you can easily just search up like Sally Acorn Hate Art or the Kill Sally Acorn Club. You will find all the uncensored art. I personally don't advise it even though it's just a fictional chipmunk, it is very disturbing. And this comic here shown was actually drawn by Wendy herself. I don't even know, like, it does not make sense to me. It's just so stupid. Yeah, that person to me is just, they got a lot of hate because they came off as being very egoistic and such. I don't know where Wendy is currently and I think it's just best to leave her alone. You know, clearly the internet isn't for her and clearly she can't take full responsibility for what she did. There was something else that I was going to cover, and that was about the infamous chapter in which Sally slapped Sonic. There is a lot to the story, and I actually feel I want to turn this maybe into a separate video, so for now, the story ends here. Such a shame that one of the greatest Sonic characters, in my opinion, gets such treatment from the fans. I'm so sorry, Sally. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this took me a while to do. I think this took me like... Right now it's like Friday for me and I, re I started recording this like last Saturday so you know this is definitely, this content is definitely new to me but I'm very familiar with it and I'm excited to expand on it so if you guys like it just let me know and I will definitely do more of these videos. Until then, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.